Hi guys, I'm Darkest Star ASMR, and welcome to a video about me. <laughs> I was tagged in this nighttime tag by my friend and wonderful ASMR creator Yvette ASMR. I will link her channel in the description down here. Now the channel started by uh, uh, let me see here. It's early in the morning and I just woke up, so bear with me here. Infinitely ASMR started the challenge. And this is uh, 11 questions about the, my nighttime habits. <laughs> and then when I have answered these 10, 11 questions, I'm going to I'm going to uh, tag a couple of other ASM artists who I think should do this challenge. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Alright, so let's get to it, shall we? Do you prefer nighttime or daytime? I prefer nighttime. <laughs> I get more creative during night and no one disturbs me. In in like neighbors and stuff like that so yeah I'm definitely a nighttime person what do you usually wear to sleep I actually just wear my underwear and that's it I never like to have a pajamas or stuff like that because it kind of feels suffocating <laughs> and I kind of move a lot move a lot when I'm sleeping so uh, I guess I just get tangled in su such things, and there, uh, but I don't feel comfortable feeling uh, sleeping completely naked because I have animals under my covers, and you know if they start to argue about something, I don't want them to sick balls. <laughs> All right. Mm. Do you usually drink tea or herbal tea? before going to bed if so what's your favorite one now uh, this is a little bit uh, you know I should for me to answer this this is, could be a short answer no I do not do that but my my uh, eating habits is very different from regular human beings I guess like I don't have breakfast or lunch I basically wake up and when I get hungry I grab something to eat or cook dinner or whatever but I don't have regular meals uh, and that's what probably why I'm fat <laughs> uh, so like having something before like something organized it's no I can take take a glass of soda and a sandwich or something or I wake up like three o'clock and go cook a noodle package or something. No, I don't drink tea. I, I actually don't drink much tea at all. I'm more of a coffee person uh, when, I, when I drink stuff like that. Do you use candles to create a relaxing atmosphere? If so, show us your favorite one. I feel like I'm really boring. Uh, I usually lit some candles at dinner because it sets in a feeling I'm a classic guy I like candlelit dinners <laughs> but uh, in in uh, the bedroom sorry <coughs> no I do not use candles so I can't show your favorite one either how many pillows do you use two never more never less do you have recurrent dreams? Do you remember them when you wake up? Yes. I actually made a couple of videos, I think, horror-themed ones based on my dreams. I have a one in particular that have occurred, or it has reoccurred for years, where I have, I'm owner of this huge mansion or house 
and it's located in different places uh, depending on the dream uh, it's three locations actually that, that are usually prominent in these dreams it's up in the northern Sweden where my ex-girlfriend used to live or it's on a neighboring island <laughs> or it's a house further down the lane <laughs> where my uncle lived once it's up on a hill and it's been replaced by this huge old mansion I have inherited it from him I think <laughs> it's it's different origins in the three different dreams but they, it's the same house and uh, it's like I don't know how many stories there is, I think it's kind of like five and it gets sucks, it gets worse and worse like the decay of the house and there are like closets filled with antique furniture and cobwebs and um, it's haunted, it's always haunted and no one ever dares to enter the fifth floor like and I have seen what haunts the dreams it's something it's always the same character it's an old sailor kind of guy oh he's huge huge and when he walks it's like it sounds like thunder and he, he the best way to describe it, if have you if you have seen the the remake of the original 60s movie, The Haunting, the ghost villain in the new one is called Huge Crane, and in the end of the movie you see him. He's huge. He has these uh, sideburns and looks like an old pirate almost. <laughs> and the monster in my dreams kind of look a little bit like him. <laughs> And it always, almost always ends with us running out of the house, you know, <laughs> scared and crap. Or it ends with me being the ghost. I figure out, you know, there is no ghost, I'm the ghost. It's really twisted, but these dreams have been reoccurring for a long, long time, and I don't know what they mean. I have no clue. Uh, all right. In which position do you sleep? That's a tricky question because I think I mostly fall asleep on my side like a baby with my knees drawn up. <laughs> but but I guess when I sleep, I, I'm a I'm a I'm a kind of like a, I move a lot when I sleep. So, so I, I think I fall asleep on the side and then goes to different position during the night. When I wake up, I'm usually on my back. <laughs> um, do you read before sleeping? If so, what have you been reading lately? Uh, I, ha I, I love to read. I love to read old horror classics, but even new ones by Stephen King, Peter Straub, uh, Dean R. Coates, Clive Barker. But I haven't been reading a lot lately. The last uh, bookish thing was Doctor Sleep by Stephen King, but that was an audiobook. Mostly I just go to bed, fiddle on the iPad or iPhone, maybe draw or something while listening to ASMR. <laughs> so I haven't been reading lately. Do you sleep alone or with someone? I definitely do not sleep alone. I al always have my two chihuahuas in bed with me under the covers or on the covers. But if you're asking if I have a human companion in bed, uh, sorry, no. But I have cats and dogs. That's just to say, just as good. <laughs> well, almost sometimes. The okay. What kind of ASMR videos do you watch before sleeping? It's it's a little bit. Uh, it varies, I guess. 
but mostly it's like non-spoken ones because or if just gibberish you know because when I watch role-playing videos which I often do I, I really enjoy listening to role-playing videos it's more but I'm too, ex too, too curious to fall asleep because I want to hear them end how they end and in, ca in some cases it's series and stuff like that but, so you want to keep updated but, but it's mostly sound based ones uh, yeah and the final question is at what time do you usually go to bed <laughs> that's also a very hard question to answer because I don't have a regular job so I don't have any times to consider you know so I, I usually fall asleep when I'm sleepy it could be at 4 in the morning, 6 in the morning, 9 at, at uh, 9 p.m. Um, it depends a little bit. I don't have a, a sleeping pattern that, that I can tell you about like that. I, I can wake up also in the middle of the night and start shooting a video. <laughs> so yeah. That take care of the takes care of the questions. Now I'm going to tag some ASMR artists which I think would be interesting to hear a little bit about their sleeping patterns. And I will try to not take anyone who Yvette tagged because that would be really boring, right? So the first one I want to tag is a friend of mine you know her as Peggy Whispers in Chaos. She recently switched name to Peggy Whispers. But uh, you know who it is, I guess. The second one I want to tag is a personal favorite of mine. And that is Seafoam Kitten. I really would like to hear what her uh, nighttime routines are. And I'm going to, to name another one. Who shall I take? I think I go with Tirardi Aiguello, Mike. So I will tag those channels down here. Oh, uh, 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 sorry, I will of course do what Yvette did and tell you a little bit about the channels. <laughs> sorry. Well, Peggy does a lot of mermaid role plays or fantasy orientated role plays but she also does like makeup videos and personal attention she's so sweet and I I really she's one of the oldest ASMR friends I've had and she she is an ace she's so kind and gentle yeah uh, and see from Kiran <laughs> has one of the bizarrest imaginations in the ASMR community I think and she's so cute you know like uh, I don't even when I see her videos you get warm of happiness so yeah and my, my uh, Tiradi Aguello, he, he does somewhat similar videos to mine. It's often based on sci-fi or, uh, you know, H.P. Lovecraft. But he also does regular, regular uh, ASMR videos. And I think, I don't watch many male ASMR artists, but I think he's one of the best today, actually. So yeah, now you know a little bit about my bedtime routine. I hope you found this enjoyable. <laughs> I will uh, uh, do nothing <laughs> right now. Eat breakfast maybe or go out. Uh, I love you guys and remember there can't be any light without darkness and I will see you in the next video.